hello dear friend you are welcome to my channel all right so this video is the actual wiring for the three input changeover switch and this is the second part of the video in the first part i did the power drawing and then the actual power wiring of the circuit so in this particular video we are going to look at the detailed practical wiring of the three input automatic changeover switch all right so before i start the wiring let's briefly have a look at how the whole system works so all these breakers are on and then at once we have all the supplies available without any disturbance our grid is connected easily to the load and that is because we allowed this contactor to operate faster than all these other ones now the settings on the timer is such that this contactor is also set to operate faster than this one so assuming the grid goes off it is the solar that will take over next because it is set to operate faster than this one all right so assuming grid is off solar will now take over that time difference is given so that the system can operate smoothly without any disturbance okay so in the case where grid is not available solar is not available it changes quickly automatically okay so a lot of explanation of the components i'm using in this second wiring and the way the components will be connected has been given in the first video and so i will urge you to look at the first video for a better understanding of this very one we are wiring the control circuit for this supply first all right so for simple identification i'll be using these different colors of wires for wiring the control circuit this is brown i'll use brown to do all the connections between the auxiliary contact and then the main contactor and then among the auxiliary contacts themselves then i'll use red for all live connections to the timer and then for all live connections to the indicator lamps then i will use black for all neutral connections of the control circuit okay so our next connection is going to be taken from this point to this normally closed contact and then again we we'll take another connection from the other side of this normally closed contact to this normally closed contact so that goes like this and then that comes here okay so from the other side of this normally closed contact then we now take a connection from here to the coil of this contactor all the live connections to the coil will go to a1 so if you observe the a1 for this contactor is here and then the a1 for this contactor is also here and then a1 for the third contactor is also here all right so a1 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 and then we connect our neutrals to a2 a2 and then a2 okay so here from this terminal here and then it goes to a1 okay so to energize the coil we are left with neutral neutral will be taken from this terminal to this normally open terminal here and then we'll take another loop from here to the terminal a2 of this coil already we have done the a1 then we take a loop from here to a2 so we are going to take this live also to this normally open contact and then we take the output to the lamp and then here at this other normally open contact there is already neutral so we take the output neutral to the lamp from here so i'll take a loop from here and then connect it to normally opened here okay so for the pilot lamp that will show when this supply source is working through this contactor we are connecting live from the live output here and then we are connecting neutral from neutral output here 
Okay, so now we move to the second contactor. For the second contactor also, we will take a live from here. So first we take a loop from here. Then again, we'll take it from this other side to another normally closed here. And then it will come to this normally closed. Then from the output here, we'll take it to this timer. So from this side here, this one will connect to terminal seven. So from eight to seven. Then I said that we are taking an output from terminal six here to energize coil number two. Okay, so this is output terminal six from here to A1 here. I said that all the live connections to the coil will be connected to A1, and then all the neutral connections will be connected to A2. So again, as we did previously, we'll take neutral from here to this normally opened contact on the second contactor. So here, go like this, and then that connects to this normally opened contact. So neutral from here, to here. And then we loop the same neutral from here to terminal two on the timer. So it goes like this. Take a loop from here to terminal two on the timer. And then the next neutral connection we are going to do is from this same terminal to terminal E of the coil of this contactor. So again, we open this again. So we add this one to the coil. And then that comes to terminal A on coil two. So here is coil two. To finish up with the arrangement for supply two, we need to wire the pilot lamps. Okay, so for the pilot lamps, we will need to take live from here to this normally opened contact here. But then, as I said earlier, and as I did for the first supply source, this live is looped here already. So we are taking it from here to this point. So we'll add this wire here, and then we extend it to this normally opened terminal. Okay, so now the only connection left for us to finish with the second supply source is the connections to the pilot's lamp, which we are going to take live from here and then neutral from here. So we take live from here. And then we take neutral from here. And we are done with that one also. So the next thing we do Just as we did for all the others, we we'll take life from here through this other normally closed contact, and then it comes to energize the coil for this contactor. So as we did earlier, we take a connection from here to this normally closed contact, and then we continue that connection from here again to this normally closed contact, And then from this contact, it goes to terminal seven on the timer. Take a connection from here to terminal seven on the other timer. Okay. And then from the output of the timer, it goes to A1. So here, we take from output from timer to A1. Okay, so we are done with the live connections. We are left with the neutral connections. Just as we did for all the others, we'll take neutral connection from here 
to this normally open contact. We'll take a loop from this same neutral here on the timer. So here goes like this from terminal two. Okay, and then as usual, we take another connection from here to terminal A1 on the coil of this contactor. So here, we add this connection. And then we terminate it at A2 here. So here, we we'll still have to wire this connection to this terminal. And as usual, we are taking it from this terminal. So we take this connection from here. And then we connect it at this normally opened terminal. Wow, so little by little we are done. The only thing that is left is a connection for the pilot lamp for this third supply. So, as usual, we take live from here. And then we take neutral from here. Good. All right. All right, so this is just something I'm using to hold my lamps in place. So here, this passes through here. This passes through here. This passes through here. With the connection of the lamps, live connects to one terminal, and then neutral connects to the other terminal. Perfect. All right, so that is perfectly done. All right, so now these are wiring, our power circuits and our lighting circuits. This is a consumer unit for the whole wiring. And then this is the arrangement for the three input automatic changeover switch. These are indicator lights that will tell us when, when the first supply source is on. This will tell us when the second supply source is on, and this will tell us when the third supply source is on. These are the various main switches for the three different supply sources. Okay. These timers are used to create a time difference for the operation of the contactors so that in case all the supply sources go up and all of them come on at the same time, we want a smooth operation by allowing one of these contactors to operate faster than the others. Okay, so now everything is set. Let's look at how this system works. All right, and so we can use this for three different supply inputs. And then as I explained earlier on, in a residential installation where we have three phase available, but the loads are all single phase loads. We can pick some of the loads that we prioritize and then we want them to have electricity supply all the time. And then wire these three input changeover switch for those loads, connecting the three different phases to this system. So that at any time, even if it is only one phase that is available, those important loads will still have electricity supply to work. All right, so here our system is set so all these breakers are on. And then at once, 
we have all the supplies available. Without any disturbance, our grid is connected easily to the load. And that is because we allowed this contactor to operate faster than all these other ones. Now, the settings on the timer is such that this contactor is also set to operate faster than this one. So assuming the grid goes off, it is the solar that will take over next because it is set to operate faster than this one. All right, so assuming grid is off, solar will now take over. That time difference is given so that the system can operate smoothly without any disturbance. Okay, so in the case where grid is not available, solar is not available, then the moment you switch on your generator, it changes quickly automatically. Okay. All right, so this brings us to the end of our wiring. Please, if you watch this video and you think there is something that should be added to make it better, please kindly leave your suggestions at the comment section. If there is something you are not very clear about and you need clarification, please don't hesitate to let me know at the comment section. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please, if you have learned something useful from this video, kindly share it with your friends. Hit on the like button. And in case you have not yet subscribed, I want to assure you that I'll be doing more of these educative videos. And so you would need to subscribe so that you get notified anytime I post a new video. I have a lot more of such educative videos at my channel. And so I will recommend that you go to my channel and watch some of my videos. Thank you very much again. See you in my next video.